Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today is part three of the 180 pound anvil build. Today we're gonna completely heat treat the entire thing to get that top and the horn nice and hard. To start out, we're gonna set up this propane burner to heat up the bottom. We're gonna use all these bricks to insulate our heating area. We're gonna get this thing set up to heat the top and the horn very hot. Once it's there, we'll be using the air hardening technique since it's A2. Okay, so our anvil right now is covered in brick. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but we're just trying to keep the heat in because we're gonna lose too much heat. We got that burner going underneath it. We're gonna light that. And as that sits there burning, we're gonna go fill our other propane bottles uh, for the weed burner. And we'll see uh, if we can get this thing up to 1800 degrees, which is luck. The burner is burning. Okay, she's been burning now for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye on it. My dad's gonna run to the store and fill up the other propane bottles that we have. That way we can take the weed burners, two weed burners plus this bottom burner. So three burners in total to heat this thing up. Like, like I said, we're gonna try to get to about 1800 degrees. We'll see if we have enough heat to do so. We're now at the point where you can just barely put your hand on the top and it's quickly too hot, but really, it's gonna take a long, long time for the heat to transfer all the way throughout this entire steel block. We put this plate on top to keep in some of the heat. It's very hot already, obviously, the steel sucks in that heat, but it's better than an open top. So while heating our anvil, we were thinking, man, wouldn't it be perfect if we had some bacon? Well, I just told you that this plate's getting high. And, well. I wish you guys could smell this. I mean, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Can't wait. And this is a crucial part of the hardening process. You start with your bacon. You eat your bacon, and once you're good, you get rid of your plate, you fire up the weed burners, and you put some heat in it. Never knew hardening an anvil could taste so good. Good bacon. Hey dad, touch it! Oh! As you see, it's pretty hot. The whole thing is a bright pinkish red color, but our target was about 1800 degrees, which is a lot hotter. So we kept heating the anvil until it was orange yellow in color. This steel is A2 on top, which means air hardened which is where we started with the air compressor. But we wanted to ensure that it was cooled down quick enough, so we misted the top with water while pouring water on the 4140 horn. We continued this process until it was almost cool enough to touch. From here, it air hardened the rest of the way down. In the comments, someone will have something to say about oh. our technique of hardening this anvil. Every time. Well, we did the best we could. We've been soaking this thing with some water, just trying to keep it cool because that core is so hot. It's just bringing heat right back out to the edges, right back out to that top end of the horn. Um, we did the best we could, honestly. So, top is A2, horn is 4140, which are quenched differently. A2 is air hardened. Uh, 4140s typically oil hardened, sometimes water hardened. So. Keep it cool, we got the swamp cooler on. It's cooling off tonight. Um, <laughs> we'll spray it with a little more water and see what it looks like in the morning. Even though it's still warm, or still pretty hot actually, it still boils water, um, 
It'll skate a file, which it would never skate a file before, and it'll survive hammer blows without denting or dinging, which absolutely wasn't the case when it was annealed. We can already tell that instead of leaving dents, it's leaving shiny spots with the hammer, which is so much harder than it was before. Uh, it may not be perfect, actually it isn't perfect, because frankly, we don't know what the hell we're doing, but it is so much better than it was. Okay, she cooled overnight, so we're gonna take the scale off the top for the flap disc, and then test her for hardness. It's obviously very, very hard. If you notice these marks, uh, before it was hardened, my little cousins came over and found an anvil and found a hammer and went to town because that's what you do when you have a hammer and an anvil. Unfortunately, it wasn't hard, so it created all these divots. Um, we can grind these out eventually, but as for the surface itself, it is super, super hard. There's plenty of rebound, and uh, we can tell just testing it, even with cold steel, uh, it, it is freaking stationary. As you see, it's pretty freaking hard. We have since forged with it multiple times, including this Damascus billet that you see right here. Overall, the Anvil project was a huge success, and it was much cheaper than buying one new. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more blacksmithing content.